Hello, my name is Karx82, and welcome back to our Greg Tech New Horizons Season 2. I've uh, gone ahead and cleaned up some of the builds I had before, namely the, uh, the PTFE build that we had. I didn't like how that was, so I split out the hydrofluoric acid and then just did this as one um so basically it's just creating the touch of fluorethylene and then we're adding um oxygen to it to get the molten thing i don't have it running at the moment uh just because uh i didn't want to i was trying to fill up the flooring a little bit but it has been running for a while we do have a decent amount don't forget we also have a little tank underneath so we have a, a decent amount of flooring. I'll probably get that going again. Um, but yeah, I'm doing other stuff in the meantime. Now, I moved over. When I rebuilt this, I realized I had just enough room for another set of two chemical reactors. So I'm like, well, that's kind of convenient. I didn't feel like moving this over. I'm like, what can I put here? Um, so I'm trying to figure out what I want to put there. We'll probably keep going with the poly stuff. All three of these are poly, polyvinyl, poly touch fluorine, polyethylene. I think we'll probably do another type of plastic there. Maybe, I don't know, polystyrene or something like that. I don't know, something. Um, I Maybe even... I mean, there is so many different poly stuff. I don't think we're going to be doing, you know, polymerase. But we got polystyrene. I know we use that later. Um, polycrap or crap or whatever. Poly don't need that. Polyvinyl sulfide, actually. We do use these in higher tier... Um, higher tier... Oh my goodness, what am I trying to say? Higher tier cables. So this is actually quite good. I usually just do like three stacks of the stuff and it lasts me a very long time. But now that we are doing more and more of the, the high tier cables, uh, we are going through it uh, a bit quicker. But it's like you only need one oil per cable and then you know we get four from one so i mean that like one stack of those is four stacks of cables kind of thing so um maybe i'll put that there uh, another thing would maybe be epoxid uh, that is the next kind of thing i need to get automated i really wanted to do the i'm gonna swim i'm trying to say i really wanted to do the I totally forgot the name of it, the, the platinum line, but I keep running into more and more stuff that we need to do here. Now I'm up to 31 channels. Um, we are going to split this off, actually. I actually already have this saved. So that, and then we'll put one here. And then I do need to set up another one i do have that where did i put my anchor do i have any more anchors yeah i don't know why i put them in there um where do we want to go or this way Good. Uh, I will probably switch this to actually do that now. That. Right. I like that. I think we have plenty of room there. Uh, yeah, so I'm going to set up. I think we're going to do epoxid next because we need them for circuits. So it is. 
pretty important. There we go. And then now I just need to rearrange all this. Basically, I'm just going to break this down and then split this stuff in. Split this in two. So. Yeah, I think I'll do. We'll do this. And I'll go. I just don't know if I have enough dense cable on me right now. Not that I can't. Just make some more. All right, so we'll do that one. And then this one will come down here. And I've tried to keep the cabling underneath here as organized as possible. That's on that side. That's on that side. All right. I think that... Did I get everything? Just not the end. All right, cool. So, easy enough. We just split up all these channels into two um but what i am going to do here um i have i don't know if you remember many 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 episodes ago when we went to mars i actually threw a pump a drill on a chloral benzene that was a very long time ago well i went i flew up there and threw down a uh ender tank so this is being transported automatically now from Mars. So chlorobenzene, um, we will use that for epoxid, and I believe we use that for PBMI too. PBMI? PBI? Was it? Poly? Yeah, PBMI. Um, and basically this is the tank that's coming in. I just did two scion. And then, uh, yeah, it's just being pumped out into a, I think. I had no idea where to put that. I didn't want to put that on top. I was thinking, I'm like, I've every single one of these tanks actually has a valve on top. But I'm like, uh, I could just put the under tank right there. But I don't know. That's, <laughs> I don't know if I like that. Just having one with an under tank on top. It would make that easier instead of using a channel, pumping it in there. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> I mean, these all have an input channel there. So it's not really. But, I don't know. Uh, anyway, so that is our chlorobenzene. Now, the next part, I am going to uh, basically mix the stuff with water. I remember... Not that. Uh, for fennel. Fennel is what I'm working on right now. Basically, water, chlorobenzene, circuit of one. We get our fennel. I'm just going to just gonna avoid that. I mean, we're pumping this stuff. It doesn't matter if I save that. Um, so that is the fennel. So that will go in here. And we use fennel for a few things. Um, and then, I don't know, we might do... Uh, probably not going to do bisphenol. Because we can actually skip that if we... We could do this. Um, so instead of mixing the bisphenol, you can just do all three in there. But uh, yeah, this is other stuff we're going to need for this. So fennel is definitely something that I need to do. And being able to pump this is really cool. So let me get that. And uh, let me... Uh, there, that's what... This molten bisphenol is basically those <laughs> hydrochloric phenol and acetone mixed together. So it's kind of skipping a step, which is cool. Okay, there is our phenol production. And we'll just have that uh, 
run until it fills up because we're not using this coral benzene or the water. Uh, we're not using that for anything, so we'll just let that uh, fill up the tank completely. All right, so there are some other stuff I need to get, and acetone. These are a bit annoying to get. Because it's not just like with a chemical reactor. Oh, the other thing is I set up a rock breaker. Um, so basically you just put it in between lava and water. And then I believe the setup like this will produce cobblestone. If you put the lava on top of the rock breaker, it produces smooth stone. And then if you feed it a redstone, it produces obsidian. I think that's what it is. I think, yeah, if you want the regular stone, and need, the lava needs to be on top. And then the redstone is that. I just have a storage bus on the side. I just threw it right here. I had no idea where I wanted to put it, so I was like, I'll just throw it right here in the base. Um, and then we have a storage bus on the back for producing... The obsidian that we need so now we have a infinite well not technically not infinite but we have 3648 redstone so pretty much infinite um, but that helps with all the tanks uh, that we need for the um, input hatches that we are crafting up so yeah, I think uh, look at that <laughs> we are we are full of oxygen and hydrogen, finally. Uh, I could probably turn... No, I think that's full. Yep, that's done. This one I haven't... I don't have running full yet. I don't know. I just... I love that color of fluorine. I don't want to empty that all out yet. So, uh, yeah, we're just producing our fluorine with the uh, biotite dust. I did also expand on... I added more crops... I expanded the crops out, so we have almost, what do we have, 15 of the black stone lilies. And I also had to add an extra centrifuge because uh, this was filling up with black, uh, black granites because it was actually, it was, uh, this was completely full and then uh, we just weren't processing fast enough because it is kind of slow. Um, but now we have... We have two of those. All right, so that is that. Um, I guess we will, I'll do, and did I already? Yeah, look how fast the, uh, <laughs> we produce metal. That is, uh, that is like so much easier than trying to do it. I think, uh, I think I, in the past, I have done it from heavy Fuel, I want to say. Yeah, heavy fuel to fennel. But um, since you can pump chlorobenzene from Mars, it's a thousand percent faster to do it this way. I mean, look at that. I've already like, and then there's even, you know, obviously the tank underneath. So that is going to fill up very, very quick. That's awesome. Um, but I do need a couple other pieces for the epoxid, uh, acetone, and something else. We're going to be doing this one. Uh, hydrochloric acid. Um, to be honest, I'm not actually producing hydrochloric acid. Like, it's only being produced as a byproduct. So technically... If that, if we're, like, not producing the tetrafluoroethylene, which I'm not right now, like, we're not actually producing hydrochloric acid. That's going to be an issue. Um, I was thinking of just getting rid of this, to be honest, and making just a hydrochloric acid one. And not even worry about... Because hydrogen, chlorine, that's infinite resources right now. Um, so... Yeah, and this actually produces 
diluted. This fennel recipe is actually producing diluted hydrochloric acid. I'm not even, I don't even have it in a tank. It's just completely voiding. Um, so maybe hydrochloric acid. It does bug me a little bit. Like, <laughs> I don't have all my acids all in a row kind of thing, but I don't think we're gonna... I don't think I'm gonna worry with that. Maybe for, like, an absolute done-with-a-pack final walkthrough build, I'll clean everything up and organize it, but not right now. Um, so I do need... I guess let's... Yeah, let's do a hydrochloric acid. We're gonna need it anyway. Also, what's with the... <laughs> the sound I'm getting from breaking stone bricks? Um, what was I thinking? I was... Acetone and Eplochlorohydrin, that's right. Acetone, I don't know how I want to do this. We're not, I'm not producing it that way. Phosphoric acid, no thanks. Um, we could do it the acetic acid way. I mean, this is oxygen, propene, and benzene. The only problem is the phosphoric acid is quite a bit of a pain. Um, because you need phosphorus, and then to get phosphorus, you need phosphate somewhere in here. I can't remember the exact, um, isn't it an electrolyzer? Yeah, no, is that changed? No, there it is. Phosphate, so it's five to one. And then phosphate dust is appetite. So nine appetite gets you three phosphate, five phosphate gets you one phosphorus, and then it's just, uh, and then the phosphoric acid. So what would that be? Hold on, nine to, what was it, nine to three? The math <laughs> so much math yeah and then one of these and then you have to mix that with although you do get you do get four buckets worth and this recipe only takes so what would it, and it also produces both <laughs> fennel and acetone but fennel i don't have to worry about uh i don't know I'll have to think about that. What the easiest way would be. What's the ISO? What's this one? Yeah. That's one to eight. Now, I, mm, I'm gonna have to think about that. But, uh, all right, let's go ahead and get this hydrochloric acid one up. We might as well just do this. Uh, I did, uh, I have done a couple things here with, uh, basically I renamed a, just a common item. So stone bricks, I named it chemical reactor. And then I set the recipe. Are you stuck? Anyway, uh, the chemical reactor, I set the recipe to, put the all the stuff we need for one chemical reactor in the uh the chest so if we look at that i have everything for it i don't have the input hatches because obviously it changes um also this needs to be 22 i uh miscounted so. no there we go. Uh, yeah, so basically I just have to click on that and it will put everything I need for a full chemical reactor in there. Uh, and then uh, I just need to figure out whatever hatches I need. So hydrochloric acid, two input hatches and an output hatch. Um, 
Obviously, I'll have a couple extra chemical reactors, but I'll just leave them. I'll put them back in the, uh, the thing. So, inputs. Yep, and that's going to take a second to figure out that tank recipe. But now we have all the um, obsidian we need. We, uh, we don't have to worry about that anymore. All right. We'll come back. And my whole base is just like, <laughs> it's going crazy. All right, as usual, ended up getting <laughs> completely sidetracked. Um, I'm going to do something, uh, a little bit of a another build. Um, I was trying to decide how I want to do the acetone. Usually I've done multiple times um, in different playthroughs. I've done the calcium acetate solution to acetone. And then I've used that to get the uh, ethanone that we use for this. And basically, this is what I have set up over here, if we remember. Um, I think I'm actually going to go a different route. Instead of doing this, um, I think I am going to go this route with the distillation tower with wood vinegar now some of these other things we are actually going to use i know methanol we have a thing for and i think that has a use so i figured why not just set this up and uh we'll get some more products and you know we can fill more tanks too and plus uh, i've wanted to set up a industrial coke oven anyway for quite a while so i've gone ahead and uh, kind of near here. I figured like distillation tower. It's kind of similar to that. We're just doing something a little bit different. Um, I did rearrange this a little bit. I pushed the P2P tunnel back that way so I can connect into it. Uh, I split that off. So you know what? I could actually have that farther that way. Not that cable loss doesn't. Not really that big of a deal. But uh yeah, I have that split off in two parts. So I'm going to go ahead and set this up. And I am producing the... It might be done now. I was using the the Coke oven blocks or whatever. But uh, let's just see. I didn't know how many I was going to need, actually. Let's do that. Remember... And I think I'm going to do this off. How do I want to do this? Maybe actually. Actually, this. I don't think this is going to run if there is stuff in the output hatch. I could be wrong, though. I was debating whether to have this turn off with a controller, but I think that I don't think this actually runs without um, with that being full. Because what we're going to do is um, we're going to do the charcoal. Alright, let's just get this hold on. before we get into that. Let's uh, do this. Uh, Alright, so we need to get we need nitrogen in this. So there's the nitrogen one. I guess I could just get rid of all this so I can see what I'm doing underneath. And we'll obviously fill in. How much do I... Okay, good. It's like, I'm just flying over the void here, and I don't know how much power I had left in my jetpack. Um, so input hatch. Output bus. So nitrogen. The charcoal. Then I guess we could do, oh, no. Input bus is the wood. Nitrogen, this is the charcoal after it's done. Um, I just did a, a small output bus because I had one. And let's see. Yeah, I'll just do a, that there. Does this muffler or muffler hatch can go anywhere? Usually I do that on top. I like that. I just prefer that on top. And then I think these go in the middle, right? 
It doesn't say where they go. I don't think you could just randomly throw them somewhere, though. Front, middle, at bottom, yeah. I'm pretty sure it, it's like a ring. Although it doesn't say. <laughs> These are in a ring. I'm assuming because it says eight. Yeah, isn't that how it works? All right, is that everything? And then the muffler hatch goes on top. So I need nine. Is that how many of those hatches I need? So eight casings up there, nine. Yeah. And it's a three by three. Three by three by three hollow. Pretty, pretty typical. All right, we need one more of those. Um, I have set up everything for the Tantaloy, obviously. Uh, pretty easy. I do need to get this upgraded to the next tier. But uh, that's going to come when I finally get around to doing the Platinum line. I swear, I've been, <laughs> been trying to get to it, but getting everything ready f um, and all these different like fluids and gases and stuff, getting this all set up is just going to help moving on so like if i need oxygen somewhere oh it's super easy i have it all set up you know if i need hydrochloric acid i can just hook up a thing um so we're kind of just preparing ourselves for builds in the future all right so let's see if this actually i'm assuming that's what it's like right all right that didn't want to form <laughs> <laughs> oh lord all right i got it front middle yep structural coke ovens got them eight coke oven casings minimum okay even though that like does say like there's yeah there wait did i do the wrong ones no heat proof coke oven casings yeah Uh, input bus, output bus, input hatch, output hatch, energy hatch, maintenance hatch, muffler hatch. And it says any of them can go anywhere. <laughs> Why aren't you farming? Uh, maybe on the back. I don't know. Did that... Okay. Moving the muffler changed something. Does it have to go on the bottom? Maybe it needs to go on the bottom. Did I? Wait a second. Did I? It was just. Was I just missing one? <laughs> Hold on. Did I actually need 10 structural casings? Did I just miscount? I'm like, did I miscount? I thought I needed nine. Oh, well. Alright, because we still have one. One empty case. Yeah, I must have miscounted. Alright, so what we're going to do is pipe all this stuff in to get wood vinegar, I believe. No, charcoal byproducts. We're going down. We're going the long route here. This, this, is, this is the one we're going to do first. Pipe the stuff in with nitrogen. We get charcoal byproducts. Um... And then we're going to distill charcoal byproducts in the distillation tower for wood vinegar. So we got two distillation towers here. This one is a five tall. Even though it says like four. Even though it says four, that's actually the fifth layer because this should be one. Then... I don't know. That's just me. Uh, now, I do have a distillation tower over here. Not being used at the moment. Like, did I break that down? Um, I can always craft up another one relatively easy. One, two, three. Yeah, I'm just going to break this one down. Move it over there. Because um, we are going to be producing, like, coal tar. Coal tar is one of the things we are going to be producing from this thing. So, I think. Didn't I? One of these does something with coal tar. Wood tar. 
I, I thought there was coal tar somewhere in here. Hmm. All right. Just kidding. I thought coal tar was one of the byproducts. All right. So uh, I'm going to finish up that. I'm going to move this over. Let's just see if this forms really quick. Now that I know how to do math. All right. I really want that thing on top, though. Uh, st structure casing. Although the muffler, I noticed that that changed when I moved this muffler. I don't know if that's in the. No, it does not seem to want to be up there. It doesn't seem to want to work. That seems like a weird place to put it, too. All right, I may need to. Uh... Nope. All right, does that go up top? <laughs> this uh the muffler hatch seems to be the thing that's having an issue right is it the muffler yes it is this muffler that is having an issue somewhere and i don't know why poke of it what am i doing there we go Muffler hatch, any casing. Well, any casing is a lie. <laughs> okay, so who guessed that from the tooltip, the top center is open? <laughs> who guessed that from uh, looking at the Coke oven tooltip? Oh. Doesn't say anywhere, does it? Am I blind? I don't think so. But uh, all right, so there we go, it formed. I'm going to do this. Now, I didn't mean to click on that. Where did I put this? There we go. Now, I think I was going to pipe this directly into a distillation tower. I think I've changed my mind though. I think I'm actually gonna pipe this charcoal byproducts into a thing because as we can see, there is lots of different things we can get from this. So I'm probably going to, actually, no, there's only one thing we get from this. It's these that, yeah, all right. So maybe I should just pipe it directly into a thing. All right, I'll put the distillation tower Back here i changed my mind again <laughs> uh, i was just thinking i'm like do we need a a tank of charcoal byproducts and you know what i don't think we do there's no other use for it other than distilling it down yep i don't think there is any other use other than doing this so there's no point to putting in a tank it's not going to be used anywhere else but uh all right so that's going to go there And then I'll probably move this hatch. Um, I'll figure that out in a second. I just want to see it working. So we got our wood in there. Uh, I think I need to put this four in here. I don't think, no, it does, there's no thing in there. So, all right, is it hooked up to power? Yep, this should turn on. I'm just going to run it once. Just to double check, we should get Niger yeah charcoal byproducts in there. Yeah, so twenty four thousand. That's the reason I did bigger hatches on these, as opposed to uh, as opposed to the LV hatches I was using over there. I knew these were going to be outputting a bit more. All right, so that is the industrial coke oven. This this just feels weird that it's open on top. Is that is that correct? I feel like I don't remember that being open when I built it. I might actually have to look up my uh, my first season on YouTube. I don't remember that being open on top. 
Maybe I'm just misremembering, but all right. Anyway, uh, I'll finish getting this stuff set up. And I don't know how I want to do. I don't know what, how I want to do these yet. I mean, do I want to do a. Man, I don't know if I want to do. <laughs> do I want to do like. Three distillation towers? I don't know. I'll have to think about that. Maybe I'll have them in a row. Can they be joined together? Can I have like three in a row? Joined together? Maybe. I don't know. Maybe on this side we'll do that. But uh, anyway, that's going to be for today. So thanks for watching and have a good one.